In this course, we are going to prepare our development environment. But before moving forward, make sure that you get the STM32 blue pill. This is the board that we are going to work with. You can get it from Amazon or any distributor. Some links are available on the blue pill section to quickly order one. Same goes for the SD Link V2. This is the in circuit programmer and debugger that we will use for flashing the blue pill. Make sure to also add it to your basket. Alright, now let's focus on the different tools that we will need to build our HID device. We will need a collection of 5 tools to develop HID devices. The nice thing about it is that they are all available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Without further ado, let's get into it. The first one is STM32 Cube MX. It is a code generator used to ease development process. Here, follow the installation instructions depending on the operating system you are using. In the case you have trouble installing any software, you can reach out to us and ask for help. We will do our best to reply as soon as we can. Next up, we have VS Code which is the code editor that we will use to write the microcontroller's firmware. The next utility is the ARM tool chain used here to compile the code before flashing it into the MCU. Next up, the ST-Link tools is used to flash the firmware to the MCU. We will use it after connecting the ST-Link V2 to the blue pill. Finally, we have the HID console which will be used for testing the HID devices. It will allow us to send and receive HID reports to the devices. Alright. Once you have finished to set up your computer, you can move to the next course by clicking the Mark as Completed button. Note that you can access to all the courses on your profile, and follow your progress. If you've liked this course and wanted to continue learning, you can enroll to the USB HID development course on usbhid.io.